Hey guys, so for part three, I'm gonna present to you the git that is available online. So without any other interruptions, I say let's get to it. So the whole code I'm presenting is available on our GitHub under the Edison server folder. Copy the link and use the git clone command, then paste the link. If the git command doesn't work for you, you can still install using the following command, opkg install git. And in the Intel Edison, you can now see the server.js file. We'll need the following module, Cylon-Intel-IoT and the socket.io-g. NPM will download those modules from the internet and install it on the Intel Edison board. Once the modules are installed, you can launch the noserver.js. On your web browser, you can access your Edison using its IP on the port 8080. Here you can see three sliders for our colors, red, blue, and green. If you slide along the red color, you'll see it now positioned or valued at 247. The same for the blue. You can see it now positioned or valued at zero. So in conclusion, the LEDs are now connected to the right GPIOs and you'll be able to control your brightness thanks to those sliders. Well, that's it for now. Appreciate and following the series and see you in part four.